Hello my friends, and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In this video, we will visit major steel mills in the world, to explore the process of producing high-quality forging products for heavy industry. In the following sections of the video, we will explore the production of the colossal 150 mega newtons extrusion press and Chinese razor, as well as the production of the Russian wheel. The GMH Group factory is a production facility that specializes in the manufacturing of steel, which serves as the foundation for high-tech products with the quality standards of tomorrow. With a history spanning over 235 years, the factory in Godel produces steel at the highest level of quality. The production process involves the use of state of the art technologies and relies on reusable steel scrap. Aligning with all legal regulations concerning environmental protection, the factory's advanced technological facilities and processes are coupled with stringent safety requirements, ensuring the highest level of workplace safety. In the forging department, free-form forged pieces weighing up to 55 tons are created. The products undergo thermal treatment in highly advanced heat treatment facilities. To enhance the purity of the steel, a double electro slag refining plant is available in the facility. In the forging department, free form forged pieces with a total weight of up to 55 tons are created. The factory also has advanced heat treatment facilities for the thermal refinement of products. In addition, modern turning and milling machines are available to achieve customer specific manufacturing requirements. Ring rolling mills are used to produce gear rings, wheel tires, and flanges. The factory with its generational expertise and the passion of its 700 plus employees, which guarantees the superior quality of their products. The factory produces both unalloyed and alloyed steel, as well as highly alloyed steel, with block weights reaching up to 75 tons. For the production of high purity steel, the factory is equipped with a double electro slag remelting plant. Annually, the factory delivers up to 100,000 tons of steel products to customers in Germany and 35 other countries worldwide. Schmieder Berker Gratis, the GMH Group factory, operates an electric arc furnace capable of producing a maximum of 50 tons of liquid steel per load. The furnace utilizes sorted scrap, meeting the necessary requirements for melting. Once the smelting process is complete, tapping is carried out. Following the smelting process, temperature and alloy adjustments are made during the subsequent ladle furnace treatment. In the VD, vacuum degassing, or VOD, vacuum oxygen decarburization unit, dissolved gases are released from the smelted mass. After a purification rinse, the mass is cast into blocks, optimized for weight and size to match the subsequent forging processes. The largest forging ingot weighs 76 tons and is produced from two heats. To ensure maximum purity and homogeneity, an electro-slag remelting process can be integrated before the forging operation. The smelted mass is heated up to 1200 degrees Celsius in the forging furnace. The forming process then takes place on the Mega Newton press, with the manipulator grasping the forged end to initiate the actual forging operation. Forging is a metalworking technique used to shape metal into desired forms through the application of heat and pressure. At the factory, the forging process begins with the heating of the raw material in a forging furnace. The temperature is raised to around 1200 degrees Celsius to make the material malleable. Once heated, the material is transferred to a mega Newton press, where immense pressure is applied to reshape it. Skilled operators and advanced computer programs ensure that the forging operation meets the utmost demands of the world market. Depending on the desired outcome, additional forging processes, such as power generation forging or upset forging, may be performed. The factory utilizes optimized forging tools and equipment to achieve precise and consistent results. Examples of forgings produced at the factory include turbine shafts and turbine wheels, 
which require exceptional accuracy and reliability due to their critical applications. Heat treatment is conducted in modern calibrated bogey hearth furnaces. Quenching is carried out in temperature-controlled oil and water tanks with high circulation capacity. Turbine shafts undergo mechanical pre-machining before vertical heat treatment. Shafts up to 8.5 meters in length can be vertically quenched in either oil or water. Machining involves the removal of excess material in the shaping of the forged components to achieve the desired final dimensions and surface finish. Modern machining techniques are employed at here to ensure high quality and precise machining operations. The factory is equipped with advanced turning and milling machines that allow for the customization and finishing of forged components. These machines can perform various operations such as drilling, milling, turning, and threading to create intricate features and achieve tight tolerances. This section shows the manufacturing process of seamless rolled rings and wheel tires. Material preparation. In the manufacturing of seamless rolled rings and wheel tires, ingot steel are used. Material testing and marking of the cut raw material billets are carried out to ensure high quality and traceability. Heating and forming. The billets are loaded into a rotary hearth furnace equipped with advanced burner technology. The billets are heated to the required forming temperature using special tools. A 30 mega newton press allows the manufacturing of profile geometries at an early stage of the forming process. Its setting, punching, and expanding processes are employed to achieve the desired forming structure. Ring rolling. Preformed blanks can be reheated using a walking beam furnace before the ring rolling process. The ring rolling mill applies a roll force of up to 160 tons to produce flanges, wheel tires, and rings. The unit weights can reach a maximum of 1,500 kilograms, with a maximum outer diameter of 2,800 millimeters. Complex profiles of the outer and inner diameter can be implemented during the ring rolling process, ensuring cost-saving production. Stamping and dimensional check. Components are stamped according to customer, specific requirements while in the hot condition. A final dimensional check is performed to ensure accuracy. Straightening and heat treatment. The straightening press allows for axial straightening of the blanks, maintaining minimal tolerances in height. Blanks are batched and undergo appropriate heat treatment using modern high and low temperature furnaces and annealing hoods. Different concentrations of polymer or water serve as the hardening medium. Testing and quality assurance. Hardness testing is conducted using stationary or mobile hardness testing devices. Destructive testing, such as tensile tests, impact tests, and cleanliness analysis, can be performed based on customer requirements. Non-destructive testing, including ultrasonic, magnetic particle or dye-penetrant testing, machining, mechanical pre- and finish machining can be performed on all ring geometries, utilizing their own processing capacities and the expertise of regional business partners if needed. The Hot Forging Press Kramatorsk NKM 6300 is a powerful industrial machine designed for hot forging operations. With its high tonnage capacity and robust construction, it is capable of shaping and forming metal workpieces with great precision and efficiency. When operating the hot forging press Kramatorsk NKM 6300, the following steps are typically involved. Heating. 
the workpiece made of steel is heated to a specific temperature in a separate furnace or induction heating system. Heating the metal to an elevated temperature makes it more malleable and easier to deform during the forging process. Bloating. Once the workpiece reaches the desired temperature, it is carefully placed onto the lower die of the press. The die serves as the support and shaping tool for the workpiece during the forging operation. Closure. The forging press is activated, and the upper die descends rapidly to close the gap between the upper and lower dies, clamping the workpiece in place. The press applies an immense amount of force, up to 6,300 tons, to the workpiece, initiating the deformation process. Forming. As the upper die continues to exert pressure, the workpiece undergoes plastic deformation. The shape of the upper and lower dies determines the final shape of the forged part. The pressure and speed of deformation can be adjusted based on the desired outcome and the characteristics of the metal being forged. Release. Once the desired shape is achieved, the pressure is released and the upper die is lifted. The forged part is now ready for the next step in the manufacturing process, such as trimming, finishing, or further heat treatment. The hot forging press Kramatorsk NKMZ 6300 operates with impressive speed and productivity. It can perform up to 40 continuous slide strokes per minute, allowing for high volume production. The adjustable distance between the table and slide, along with the precise control systems, ensures accurate and consistent shaping of the workpiece. With a shut height of 1,150 mm and a distance between uprights of 1,950 mm, the press provides ample space for accommodating large workpieces. The top and bottom ejectors, with stroke lengths of 100 mm and 230 mm respectively, facilitate the removal of the forged part from the tooling. The main drive motor, with a power rating of 400 kW, provides the necessary energy to operate the press and generate the substantial force required for forging. The SMS Mears Colossal 150 Mega Newtons Extrusion Press is a remarkable engineering feat. With dimensions of 40 meters in length, 12 meters in height, and 5 meters in width, it stands as the largest extrusion press ever built. Its press capacity of 150 mega newton makes it the most powerful extrusion press in existence, designed and manufactured by SMS Mir. The press was assembled in the workshops of SMS Mir in Germany and then dismantled into its individual parts for transportation to the customer in Shandong Province, China. This logistical challenge involved moving massive components, including a 6 meter long, 180 ton main cylinder. The entire press weighed a staggering 2,000 tons. Transportation took place both during the day and at night, with some parts being transported by tugboats to Bremen and others shipped to northern Germany by water. In Bremen, all the press components were loaded onto the cargo ship Anna Sophie for a long voyage to Qingdao, China. The journey spanned approximately 12,000 nautical miles, passing through various waterways such as the English Channel, Strait of Gibraltar, Mediterranean Sea, Suez Canal, Red Sea, Indian Ocean, Singapore Strait, and South China Sea. The completion of the new factory in Sushin, built within a remarkable two-year time frame, will result in a production capacity of approximately 130,000 tons of aluminum profiles per year. The factory will facilitate the manufacture of large aluminum parts, with the ability to produce profiles measuring up to 60,000 millimeters in length and 700 millimeters in diameter. The press also has a piercing force of 40 mega newtons, enabling the production of large aluminum tubes. The manufacturing process of forged steel bars involves several steps to ensure the production of high-quality products. Heating and forging. The ingots are heated to approximately 700 degrees Celsius and then transferred to the forge. In the annealing furnace, the temperature is raised to around 1,200 degrees Celsius. 
the forging process takes place using a 60 mega newton press skilled operators optimized forging tools and advanced computer programs ensure the fulfillment of high quality standards Once the forging is complete, the forged bars undergo cutting to remove the top and bottom discard sections. These sections are typically removed to eliminate any imperfections or irregularities caused during the forging process. The cutting process is carried out using modern flame cutting equipment, designed in accordance with the latest environmental protection guidelines. Following the cutting process, heat treatment is performed to enhance the mechanical properties of the forged bars. The bars are placed in modern bogey hearth furnaces, which are carefully calibrated to meet stringent specifications. Temperature control is of utmost importance during heat treatment to achieve the desired hardness consistency. The bars are subjected to controlled heating and cooling cycles to modify their microstructure and improve their strength, toughness, and overall performance. Quality control. After heat treatment, the forged bars undergo hardness testing using a modern testing facility. Ultrasonic testing can also be performed on the raw or machine surfaces. Additional tests, such as tensile testing, impact testing, and microscopic structure examination, may be conducted to ensure quality and compliance. The manufacturing process of Liu razor begins with the production of razor blades. These blades are made from stainless steel strips, which undergo a series of treatments. Firstly, the strips are heated in a furnace at temperatures exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius. Next, they go through a cryogenic cooling chamber for cold treatment. Finally, the blades are reheated to restore flexibility and restructure the molecular composition, effectively hardening the metal. For double-edged blades, the blades are then stamped with the razor blade brand name using a printing machine. In the second stage, the razor blades enter a grinding and polishing machine. This machine consists of three grinding stations. Pre-grinding, fine grinding, and accurate grinding. Through these stations, the blades are sharpened, resulting in two super sharp cutting edges. Subsequently, the blades go through a polishing machine to remove any fragments remaining from the grinding process. Following this, a cutoff machine is used to shape the blades. Once the blades pass inspection, they are washed with sorbets to remove any contaminants and then dried. In the third stage of the manufacturing process, the blades undergo additional treatments. Firstly, they are coated with a special material and then coated with Teflon on the edge. Heat treatment is applied to ensure the complete dissolution of chromium and Teflon on the blade edge, increasing the durability of the blade. The blades are then examined under blue light to check their edge defense. Samples are taken to the factory quality control lab for testing to ensure they meet hardness and sharpness standards. In the packaging stage, each blade is individually wrapped in wax paper and colorful paper using an automatic single blade packaging machine. The packaged blades are then placed into boxes using another automated packaging machine.
Li Razor employs 35 automatic injection molding machines to ensure the quality and efficiency of plastic product production. All plastic parts for the razor are produced by these machines, which are equipped with robots for optimal precision. The company also has a well-equipped Seiko workshop with various machines such as wire cutting machines, lathes, punching machines, milling machines, EDM machines, and laser welders. This workshop, staffed by professional and technical personnel, is responsible for the development, processing, and maintenance of injection molds. The Automation Razor Production Workshop is a fully automated assembly line capable of assembling 180 razor heads per minute. Plastic accessories and blade assemblies are continuously installed, including lubrication and razor protectors. The razor heads and handles are connected through fully automated production, ensuring efficiency and standardized product quality. Once the razors are assembled, they proceed to the automatic high-frequency packaging workshop. Each automated high-frequency packaging machine can package 120 razors per minute. Various types of razor products are packaged in a dustless workshop to meet the final packaging requirements. Before the finished products are shipped, they undergo rigorous inspection in the quality control departments to ensure adherence to product quality and packaging standards. Chelyabinsk Forge and Press Plant CH case, is a letting in one of the largest Russian manufacturers of wheels. The production process at CH case involves the utilization of state EV, the art equipment and high quality materials. For the cutting of metal products, LVD guillotine shears from Belgium are employed, ensuring precision and quality. Only premium hot rolled and cold rolled metal products from top manufacturers with a thickness ranging from 4 to 30 millimeters are utilized in the production of wheels. Modern welding machines are employed for the assembly of wheel components. The quality of welded seams is rigorously controlled by the factory laboratory, ensuring high standards. Cold metal rolling is employed for the shaping of the wheel discs. An exceptional rolling machine allows the production of variable thickness products, reducing weight while enhancing wheel strength. CH case prioritizes quality throughout the wheel production process, from the selection of materials to the use of advanced machinery and quality control measures. This commitment to excellence enables the manufacturing of durable and reliable wheels, meeting the stringent standards of the industry. With its expertise in cutting-edge facilities, CH Case continues to contribute to the production of high-quality wheels in Russia.